Hello students, welcome to the new YouTube channel Easy Learning. In this session, we are going to learn chapter 2, Data Abstraction. The main concept you are going to learn in this session is data abstraction, abstract data type, constructor and selector. So before entering to data abstraction, first we'll understand what is abstraction. The process of providing only the essentials and hiding the details is known as abstraction. I'll repeat, the process of providing only the essentials and hiding the details is known as abstraction. For example, when you want to drive a car, you don't need to know how the engine was built or what kind of material the tires are made of. You just have to know how to turn the wheel and press the gas pedal. Let's see again. Abstraction is a car owner need not be a mechanic. That means a person who drives the car need not be a mechanic, but he must know some basic techniques to drive the car, like steering, gear changing, etc. So at first point, abstraction is providing only the essentials and hiding the details. Okay, that's that is abstraction. What is data abstraction? Data abstraction is the invention of new data types. It separates functionalities from representation. Programmers need not worry about how code is implemented. They have to just know what it does. We don't need to know how data is represented internally. We just need to know how to interact with it. It's really a good mechanism or concept which is a which is in great use today because of the introduction of object oriented programs data abstraction is in life all the softwares which want to be in up to date must follow oops concept and one of the best concept is abstract abstraction and data abstraction is simple the programmers need not to worry about how code is implemented they have to just know what it does by seeing this it shows that the programmers work is less let's see what's happened abstract data type abstraction data abstraction next is abstract data type data abstraction is supported by defining an abstract data type simply it is ADT which is a collection of constructors and selectors that means data abstraction concept is implemented by defining a data type that is said to be abstract data type and it is a collection of constructors and selectors then what is the constructors constructors create an object bundling together different pieces of information you can compare this with your constructor in c++ while selectors extract individual pieces of information from the object constructors create an object selectors retrieve information from the object see the example now constructors constructors are functions that built to the abstract data type selectors selectors of functions that retrieve information from the data type which data type abstract data type now imagine there is a city abstract data type and it is having an information of name latitude longitude that is name of the city latitude of the city longitude of a city city equal to make city of name latitude longitude to create an object for city adt constructor function is used here the make city is a constructor and it is defined to create the object then what about the selectors to extract the information of a city object you should use functions like get name 
get latitude, get longitude of city. Make city is also a function. Get name is also a function. But make city creates an object for the abstract data type. So it is coming under the concept of constructor. Get name is retrieving the information from the object city. So it is coming under the category of selectors. Let's see another example. Consider a ADT, that means abstract data type of college. It is having admission department staff. For example, I have given college equal to make college admission department staff. To create an object for college ADT, constructor function is used. What is the constructor here? Make college. To extract the information of a college object, you should use functions like get departments, get staff. Do you understand what is constructor, what is selectors? Recall again, abstraction, providing only the essentials and hiding the details. Data abstraction, the programmer need not worry about the implementation, he must know how to use it. The third, the abstraction, data abstraction is defined by having a abstract data type by combining a constructor and selector functions. Thank you for watching this channel. If you like this channel, subscribe this channel to watch the upcoming videos. Thank you. Have a good day.